Big shout to the ghosts and the ghostettes. On this episode, we're going to talk about law enforcement clubs, LEMCs, Leos, whatever you like to call them. We're going to talk about their involvement in MC culture, how the one percenters think about it, and how the rest of the culture thinks about it. And we get into it on this episode of Demons Row TV. And oh, yeah, we ghosting, baby. My ghosts, my ghostettes, welcome to Demons Row TV, the holy grail of MC culture, where we cover everything motorcycle club involved. I'm Sos the Ghost, I'm your host for the evening, and today we're going to talk about it, law enforcement motorcycle clubs. With everything going on in the world right now, I still have not covered LEMCs, so this is the time right now, the Leos, whatever you like to call them. But the first thing I want you to do, like we always do on this channel, is to hit me with that pound ghosting. And that lets me know you're alive and well, sitting on twos, doing what you do, or part of the Demons Road community, one of my ghosts. I hope everybody's safe. I know there's a lot of riots going on, depending on where you live. And in the Bronx, shit is like burned down right now. and and stores are getting looted and robbed let me know in the comments how your neighborhood is and also smash that like button for me i never say that much but i need y'all to like it and share the content a lot of people ask me if it's okay if they share the content yes it is any video i do take it and share it because this message needs to be spread shout to all my new subscribers welcome to the row shout to everybody that's been supporting the demons row merch underneath any video we got the merch shelf if you want to support the show or just rep mc culture under every video follow the sos the ghost youtube page this week's certified ghost that goes out to estrella alvarez she rides two different Indians. She got the Indian Scout Bobber and the Indian FTR 1200S. She got a crazy pinup punk Chicana style. She got like a very interesting image. Check out her, her profile. She's doing her thing. Mother three college student. You are a certified ghost that this week's certified ghost goes out to little Dave from Chicago. You didn't expect it, but my brother had the rep for you. You've been rocking with me since I started the show. I threw the Cubbies Demons Row Blue on for you for that Chicago shit because you be holding it down for the shot. My brother, you are a certified ghost. All right, y'all, let's get into it. Law enforcement clubs, LEMCs, Leos, all the names that people demonize on the internet. The, the, the names that people love to throw into the dirt. They're always talking about Iron Order. That's not a Leo club. That's just a club that allows cops in it. But if you notice, when I do videos, I never smash on clubs. I'm here to uplift the culture. I let the culture vultures do that. You know what I'm saying? But the LEMCs is a different kind of topic. So we're gonna be objective about this because every time I get on this channel, I'm gonna keep it all the way live in 1000. I'm not gonna come on here and be fake and I'm always gonna give both sides of the story because there's always two sides to every story. Now, the LEMCs, we don't function with them like that. And when I say we one percenters, I don't see them at a lot of functions. Obviously they don't party at the same places as us because they're full of police officers so they're on the other side of the track we really don't rock with them like that now i have been 
two annuals in New York and have seen other clubs. And I didn't even know that some of them were LE clubs because some of these clubs, they have skulls, they have, you know, like regular shit that a regular club would have. So you look at them and you don't even realize until you see the LEQ, but I never even really noticed them until after people told me certain clubs were LE and then I kind of peeped it. You know, we, we kind of are usually in our own mix off to the side when we're at like a 99 event. That's the only place that a one percenter would see a LEMC is at a big function that's a 99 event that they got invited to and then they invited the le's too you know like in a one percent club you're not gonna see a le come to the to the clubhouse or anything like that they're in a completely separate mix because they're living that boys in blue police life you know what i'm saying so a lot of people feel a way about the way they get into the club world they don't pay the proper respects they don't get blessings cocs any of that they don't they function as their own separately they do allow women in lemcs and it's kind of an oxymoron because if you're in a real mc you know mc stands for a men's club now when i say demons row the holy grail of mc culture i say mc as in motorcycle club but when you're talking about one percent clubs when you're talking about traditional clubs the mc stands for men's club so that's also to women have asked me like can i be in an mc like how do i start an mc and you can't be in an mc if you're a female you can be in a wc or a riding club or something you know but an mc is a men's club now people have asked me in the comments about joining the lemc if you join the lemc can you join another club later on in the future now there's a lot of 99s that even accept police too and those are not lemcs that's just a regular club but they happen to not discriminate if you're a police officer you can get in if you don't know obviously to people in the culture they know but if you don't know and you're new to the culture in a one percent club you cannot be a police officer and i know christian clubs that will not allow you if you're a police officer i've also been asked if you were in an lemc but wasn't a police officer how would it be for you to get in other clubs it would be kind of rough depending on what type of club if you get into a 99 a lot of 99s have actual police officers in them and co's and stuff like that so it is possible to do that but one percent culture you will never even be able to be a hang around you it's just the other side of the track any police involvement po co any of that type of stuff you cannot join a one percent club now that we're on the topic of lemcs too i want to give a message to y'all with all this civil unrest going on since you're in the culture of mc culture i feel that it's your duty that if you see anything going on with mcs that you lend that helping hand we need to fix the relationships with the people and the police and i know this might sound crazy coming from a one percenter but i need y'all to understand something when you're going out there and you're protesting and you're looting and you're rioting and all that it's not helping anything there is a collective way above police officers that would like you to believe that your enemy is the police and i'm here to tell you as a one percenter and people might think this is the craziest shit in the world the police are not really your enemy now hear me out here and don't kill me in the comments hear me out here hear the whole hear everything i gotta say and understand that first before you make your judgment and then if you want to slam me listen i get it everybody with a badge and a gun is not a cop cia and feds and all these provocateurs and all that they wear vests they wear guns they're not cops they're way above cops cops is something different and let me tell you something cops need to work on how they deal with people they need to learn how to de-escalate situations you cops need to learn to stop being dicks but a dick is different from being a murderer and a lot of these murders that are going on these are agents these are not 
just regular beat cops the guy that gets the donut down the shop or stops you for a ticket and listen i'm not saying that nowhere in the world police brutality doesn't go on but let's be honest with ourselves i'm gonna speak about me forget everybody else because i don't know everybody's situation anytime i was hassled by police and the reason why i grew up hating police why did i hate police because i was robbing people because i was selling drugs because they would lock my ass up when i did some dumb shit let's keep it all the way 1000 when you get stressed by police are you really never committing no crimes I haven't been arrested since i stopped doing crimes they ain't, they ain't never now listen if i'm speeding or something that's the only police contact i've ever had and guess what i'm fucking up i'm speeding that's not police brutality that's not them being a dick that's me going too fast like people place blame on other people they can't hold themselves accountable for anything you can't blame police if you're selling drugs or you're doing some dumb shit and you get caught up it's part of the game you can't blame them now is there police profiling yes yes they will stop your ass but guess what listen i'm gonna talk about even me myself if you see tommy walking down the block and um he got glasses on and he got a, a button-up shirt and he's a little guy and he's walking by are you really gonna you know turn your head and think twice that something could happen then you see a six foot 240 pound puerto rican with a hoodie on rolling up all hip-hop ish you're gonna profile him you're gonna profile me you're gonna say there's a possibility that he may do some foul shit that's just real life that's not even racism profiling is real we profile each other if we see somebody with a funny vibe we kind of think that they're gonna do something so i understand that there's police out there that are dicks but straight up murderers there's a very small percentage of that and i know people are gonna get upset about it but listen on this channel i'm going to keep it real i'm not doing that fake shit man we need to hold ourselves accountable for the shit that we do now if you didn't do nothing wrong and a police officer you know profiled you and blamed you for some shit listen that type of shit happens and i'm not saying it doesn't to for them to be painted like they just go out and target people is, is bullshit they're not just going out in the street shooting people there's people with a higher agenda and the truth is they want black and white versus each other they want us against the police why because they're gonna bring military forces in and you think that is gonna be our military but it's not our military is gonna be in the Middle East in the desert somewhere and they're gonna bring in troops from somewhere else UN troops that's that's the real enemy right there that's the real enemy the people that have sold this country out this country is no longer in effect this is the United Nations we live in that's why nothing makes sense because there's people in control of America that are not American nobody there's no control your votes don't count none of that we need to take back control of the streets and us beefing with the police is just feeding into what they want I've seen clips where people show stacks of bricks left by a protest before they protest so young kids can grab it and throw it through a window I'm gonna speak the truth here give it a like if you feel where I'm coming from and share this on your timeline because I'm talking the real I'm not gonna be fake with y'all we make mistakes but we are fighting the wrong enemy if you think police are your enemy you're thinking too small your enemy is the same person that is demonizing them why you think they're getting demonized in the media because they're gonna tell you you know what police they're not working we need military on the streets that's what they're gonna do we need to fix our relationship with police with the real police not the feds and the cia the ones that they send out to the street and you think of are regular cops the regular cops are the ones that actually work in the precinct and you know what they need to start if you guys want to riot and do crazy shit we need to confront if you want to confront police and you feel like they're at fault you know what we need to do you know what's an easy fix 
we need to confront the police the, the police departments and make sure that the people that work the beat in your neighborhood are from your neighborhood i guarantee you all that rough shit and all that dick shit will end because guess what if tommy lives down the block he's going to talk to you way different if he lives outside in the outskirts of the town he, he doesn't have to account for anything but if he lives in that neighborhood guess what i bet you he ain't gonna profile you i bet you he's gonna know who you are and know what you're up to so if he messes with you it's because you did something wrong let me know in the comments how you feel i'm tired of bullshitting with people it's time we be real and understand who the real enemy is you guys are following too much stuff that you see on the internet and listen i understand mcs are not involved with that too much but we need to start spreading the word please share this video and tell people to go further into it facebook knocked me off um they had yanked my page and right now i have no facebook and um i don't know if they're gonna let me get back on or not because they're saying i was posting stop protesting and they yanked me off i see nothing but people posting riots and fires and all that shit and they want them up so that's the world we're living in right now where if you say listen stop throwing rocks through windows and ruining businesses in your in your community because that's where you're gonna have to shop when they quarantine your ass they're gonna quarantine us again and you're gonna have nowhere to shop because you destroyed your own neighborhood i know a lot of people are just i hate the police and that's all they could think cool you're not who i'm talking to the type of person that could wake up and realize what's really going on in life y'all let me know in the comments how y'all feel the trolls shout to y'all y'all keep the show growing share this share this share this thank you for tuning in to demons row tv the holy grail of mc culture like subscribe and comment and oh yeah we ghosting baby